Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS pseudo class selectors. In the previous video tutorials, we have discussed CSS pseudo class selectors with respect to UI and navigation. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, we are going to discuss CSS pseudo class selectors with respect to DOM tree structure, that is structural pseudo class selectors. They are very, very useful pseudo class selectors. If you use them properly, you can reduce the code redundancy. You can write more optimized CSS code. Structural pseudo class selectors are used to target HTML elements and apply styles based on the relationship present between HTML elements in the DOM tree structure. For example, you want to apply styles to the root element of the DOM tree structure. You can use the root structural pseudo class selector. What if you want to target every first child of every parent? You can use the structural pseudo class selector known as first child. Like that, there are various structural pseudo class selectors are there. We are going to discuss about them one by one. Before we proceed and understand each structural pseudo class selectors, First, I want to create one HTML document. Then we proceed further. I minimize the Word document. I go to start, say here, notepad. I click on the notepad. You can see that notepad is got open. I'm going to write here basic HTML structure, less than exclamation mark, doc type HTML. I'm going to write here opening HTML tag, lang equal to en, closing HTML tag. Then I say here opening head tag, closing head tag, then I say opening body tag, closing body tag. In the head section, I am going to say meta care set equal to UTF-8. I go to file, say save as, I save the file at desktop with the name default.html, both sides I put double quotations, click on the save button. I minimize the notepad, you can see that default.html page got created. I right click on it, say open with the Firefox. You can see that default.html page got open. Let me go to the notepad and write some content. First of all, I set the title. Title, I say structural pseudo class selectors closing title. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that title is set to structural pseudo class selectors. Let me go to the notepad again and in the body section, I am going to create one div with an ID of container. This is going to become a container for our remaining code. So in this, I am going to create one more div with an ID of div1. Then I say closing div. Within this div, I am going to create one paragraph. I am going to say here paragraph text closing p tag. I am going to copy this and paste it few times. Two, three, four. 5 and the second paragraph content I am going to remove and the fourth paragraph content I am going to remove file save go to browser and refresh you can see that paragraph text 1 2 3 are displayed here in the middle we have two paragraphs as they don't have the content they don't have the height also okay let's proceed and understand pseudo class selectors one by one the first pseudo class selector I am going to discuss is colon root structural pseudo class selector this is a syntax for it. Selector colon root in flower bracket we write declaration list. What this code does? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector if it is the root element in the DOM tree structure. For example, HTML colon root, we know that HTML is the tag selector. Root is the pseudo class keyword in flower bracket we have written background color yellow. What this code does? It selects HTML tag if it is the root element in the DOM tree. Of course, we know that always HTML tag will be the root element of the DOM tree. Hence, root pseudo class selector always targets to the HTML element. It is not necessary to write the HTML here. We can only write colon root also. Let's see the demonstration and understand. I go to the notepad. Here, I am going to say style type equal to text or CSS. Then I say closing style. Here I say HTML colon root in flower brackets. I am going to write background. 
dash color of yellow semicolon file save of course in this page we have a html tag as the root element it is going to have now the background color yellow file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the background color is set to yellow to the complete html document let's proceed and understand something more remember that no other html element is going to be the root element in our dom tree structure always the html tag is going to be the root element in the dom tree structure because we are going to begin the html document with the opening html tag end the html document with the closing html tag within that only we are going to have head tag body tag all other tags right okay let's proceed and get little bit more information on difference between html body section and all okay here i am going to say body and i say apply b o r d e r border of 2 px solid red semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the height of the body is only this much friends this is not the part of the body section this is actually the part of the html document here we have the body beginning of the body section and the height is this much and width is this much friends you can see around the body we have the red border that the space that you see here at the top on the left on the right that is actually the margin of the body you can remove the margin of the body by using the margin property m a r g i n margin i say here zero pixels semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the margin around the body is removed now the body is stick to the walls okay let me remove the margin from here i say file save go to browser and refresh now we have again the margin this uh, margin property is used a lot of the time to remove the margin around the body okay it's a very very useful css property now i go here and say b a c k g r o u n d background dash color of green semicolon now i am applying the background color to the body if i say refresh you can see that only the body element has the background color set to the green if you do not apply the background color to the html element if i say control x file save go to browser and refresh the body itself apply the background color to the complete html document okay so that is the another thing you need to remember friends i hope you guys have understood what is the html document part what is the body document part how the body set the background color and how the html sets the background color what happens when you use the background color to html as well as the background color to the body elements and also we understood the html tag is the root element it is not necessary to write here the html because colon root pseudo class letter always targets to the html document if i say file save go to browser and refresh there will be no change friends okay even you can use here the star star indicates universal pseudo class selector i discuss about that in the last okay so if i write file save go to browser and refresh there will be no problem you can see that i discuss about the star that is also known as universal pseudo class selector in the future video tutorials okay now we have understood root pseudo class selector let's proceed to the next pseudo class selector that is empty colon empty is a structural pseudo class selector it targets to empty html elements this is the syntax selector colon empty in flower brackets we write declaration list it selects any html element targeted by the selector if it is the empty html element empty means the element which has no content is considered as the empty element for example p colon empty in flower bracket we have border 2 px solid red what this code does it selects any p element if it is the empty element let's see the demonstration here i say locate any p in this page if it is empty that means if it has no content apply the border of 2 px solid red semicolon file save we know that the second paragraph and the fourth paragraph are empty they are going to have now the red border 
Can you see that? Here we have the red border applied to the second and fourth paragraph. Now they have a little bit height. Previously we didn't have a content, so they didn't have any height. So that is all about CSS empty pseudo class selector and the root pseudo class selector, how they work. Okay. In the next video tutorial, we discuss more on structural pseudo class selectors. I suggest you people to try using these pseudo class selectors in your HTML documents and understand them very clearly. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information for more benefits and be up to date. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.